Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about surge protection device. Basically, what is surge protection device and uh, what are the functioning. So before we start the session, I would like to request you. If you are not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon. So you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started first basically what is SPD so SPD means it stands for we can say uh, full form of so full form of SPD is search protective or we can say search protection device so this device can protect from transient voltage or surge current or interest current okay so this is device which can protect from uh, transient voltage and surge currents so this will suppress these two factor transient voltage and surge current so uh, as you can see over here a surge protective device is a protective device for limiting the transient voltage by diverting or limiting the surge current and uh, is capable of repeating this function as a specific okay so simply you can say this will protect from the devices or loads from this transient voltage and surge current it will divert towards the earth okay and also uh, basically what is transient voltage so this is the short time surge in the ac power supply they typically last uh, for few seconds so this will uh, arise only for few seconds few millisecond we can say and uh, for this few millisecond this voltage can be reached up to thousands voltage even more than that that's why this voltage can damage our equipments or we can say loads even sensitive loads like pcb operated machines so all pcb damage due to this transient voltage and surge current so surge current similarly we can say surge current are the currents that raise raise or fall from the normal normal rated value in the short time duration so this will be raise sharply increase due, uh, for a short time duration so here we can say their voltage range are greater than 2000 voltage and current range are more than 100 ampere even k this is typically uh, up to 1 to 10 microsecond this will stay only up to 1 to 10 second now what are the causes of this transient or uh, surge current so here as you can see this is the sine wave diagram of alternative voltage so here as you can see in this cycle in positive cycle here you can see this peak so this peak is actually a transient voltage at a certain time as you can see for few millisecond we can say this will suddenly rise over here so this is actually a transient voltage again it will become to normal after few seconds as you can see over here in this again over here this becomes also transient but uh, we can say uh, smaller than this one similarly for current as well here we have we can say this is the inverse current uh, we can take it as a such current as well so this is the no, no, nominal current means rated current and this is the short time current which is surge raise for certain duration so this is the index or we can say surge current so what are the causes of transient voltage and currents because how it arises or how it forms so due to lightning strikes it might be happens transient voltage and uh, we can say surge currents and even uh, during the switching of electrical machines during the on time it might be happen or during the sudden change in the loads suppose initially we have a 20 kilowatt on that particular feeder if you suddenly add 200 kilowatt within a millisecond at that time might be raise the transient voltage or inverse current or we can see surge current due to sudden variation in the input voltage of the electrical machine yeah we can even uh, vary the voltage sudden so at that time also tra transient voltage and current might be raised so these are the actually uh, reason 
basically how this transient and surge currents form so due to this transient voltage and current many sensitive device like a vrf units even ac units so pcb printed circuit board operated sensitive device for the short time duration it may might be damaged as you can see over here this is the reasons of this transient voltage or surge current that's why this pcb got damaged frost due to this transient voltage so in many cases uh, of this brf indoor units and outdoor units due to this such pcb frequently damaged that's why we have to uh, protect the electrical equipment and even we can say sensitive equipments from this transient voltage so the device which protect from this transient voltage transient voltage and surge current is spd that means surge protective device so here now we are going to start the wiring of single phase spd then three phase okay so first learn about single phase spd so for, here we have taken uh, dp mcb okay then this is the actually spd surge protection device so here we have a three terminals so this is the l and n and this is the earthing terminals so this is connected in parallel to our power supply okay so always connected in parallel to the power supply of the load circuit and this is always connected in ground so make sure earthing should be proper then only it will be work effectively so here and this is the rccb and these are these loads mcb circuits mcb now let's start the wiring so here we have a phase this is the phase the neutral now phase from here and as i said this is this will be connected parallelly so here we can connect it in parallelly and this is the terminal of earthing that's why it will connect it to earthing and from here again goes to the rccb from the output of this neutral goes to neutral bus bar then phase to individual circuit of the mcb so here this will be load actually this is the load basically how it works uh, in case of suppose so during initial time it is high impedance okay so during the normal time basically it will flow normally and load operated through normally when any transient voltage occurs or surge current occurs at that time what happen its impedance get decreases or low and it it diverts the surge current or we can say transient voltage towards this earthing for short time hence these loads will be safe from this transient voltage and surge current that's why we need this spd now let's come to the three phase spd similar to single phase it will be connected so here we have taken four pole mcb then this is the four pole we can say spd and this is four pole rccb so similarly we can connect over here suppose this is r y b and this is the neutral okay from the output of this it will goes like this r then y then b actually this is the l2 not and then neutral and these two will be connected as a r thing now from here again will provide to this rccb then to load okay so in this way it will be connected in three phase system so hope you guys understand about basically uh, what is spd and how it works and how to do wiring in single phase and three phase system so thank you for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video